So this fly is um, a little bit special. It's caught me a load of big fish on the river and I call it my broken dun, as in broken down. But it's not like a dun. It's basically a, like a cripple on the surface. But it's one that's just worked so, so well for me. Um, it's better in pool tails where you tend to get the big, big resident fish. Well, I say resident fish, it's a river for goodness sake, but yeah, tend to get the real donkeys with this thing. It's just got everything going on um, that works for big trout, big trout especially early in the season. So let's um, go ahead and tie it. Now, because this is for big fish and it's there to represent LDOs, LDOs, um, March Browns, turkey duns that'll work for as well. Big flies, basically, big mayflies. So I've got a dry fly, SL, SLDD12, size 10. Yep, a size 10. Hard to believe, I know, but that's what it is. I've got here a light Cahill thread. Most of my river flies are tied using light Cahill. I'm just going to create a body coming down to the end of the shank there. And then in with my Cock de Leon. Quite a few fibers, just take it away at an angle. So everything's aligned and then tail, same length as the body. And because I did a couple of extra turns at the end there, this will splay a little bit like so. In with my scissors. And now I've got this stupidly fine dubbing. It's a Semper Flea, I think it's white into cream. 1200 I think the colour is, but it's like a just a, an off off white and it's a super fine dubbing. And we gotta dub that as fine as we do. A little bit of thickness to it, not too much. But when I say fine, you can see that. Really fine dubbing rope. We probably wouldn't need all that much. So, covering the the hackle the tail there, coming up about halfway. So we're stopping there, maybe sort of halfway up the body. Maybe one more turn. That's enough, and then take all this away. Be careful because it's a really fine, fine dubbing. And then lock off. If there's any excessive there, just trim it away. Okay, like so. Some fly this, some fly this. So I've now got five CDC tips all lined up. And what I do is I pull them all to the tips. All to the tips. And we've got to catch that in. Keep these tips pulled tight. I'll give myself a little space at the front there. Put them in a little bit more. I'll trim these, you see. About there. And come down to where the body joins. So you've got that. All the CD, all the CDC is pulled down towards the tips, pulled down towards the, the tip end of the feather. Trim these away. She left a little bit longer there. Just trim all that away. That's when your sharp scissors help. And you can see I left myself a little bit of space at the front. Tiny bit there. Let's see if I can get that a little bit off. Yeah. 
So then what I want to do is I want to get some partridge and we want to strip away one side because we didn't want these um, legs too big. So our hackle is going to go round that way. So we take the top of the partridge further away. All the fibres for the top side we take away. So we're just left with the, the bottom side of the feather. Gives it a little bit of fibre to work with. And you got to get a couple of turns of this and then catch that in. Trim away the excess. It's on my side. So, park that out of the way. You gotta get a few wraps of that. And then I've got some squirrel. Fine. Just a fine dubbing rope. And what I like to do is I work from the, the eye back and then I pull my, my light KL thread. There you go, like that. And then my light KL thread goes through. Stopping. Park my thread. I've got a little bit of space there. You, you know, it's always kept a little bit of space at the front. In with my hackle pliers, in my partridge, and I'll get about three tons of this. One. Get the fibres going back. Two. Nice displayed. Three. Cut sign. Again, I've got that little bit of space to work with the front. I'll tell you about that in a second. Give me the scissors. Watch my thread. So I've got a nice open wrap of the partridge. And now what I do is I move my, my partridge fibers to either side. And because I use long, good quality CDC. I'm going to pull all this up and through the partridge. That's why I left that little bit of space at the front. And come in, tie that in, one turn, and then nice tight turns three times. That's all you need. And then we just lift it like you would with a shipman's buzzer. So we lift this, that's why I left a little bit at the front. And I can use my thread to butt up the CDC. Let me look finishing. Tool. That's it. Let me your scissors. And now we want to cut this. So if I lift my CDC feathers, I want to cut it so it's at an angle to the back. So you can see where the back is, 45 degrees, come in, cut that. So I've got that little tuft. And that is my broken down, broken down. Um, just pff, such a good fly for um, big fish. Really good fly for big fish. Um, especially in pool tails, etc. It's just it just works wonders for me. Um, so there you go. Hope you enjoyed that. Uh, great fly for start of the season for the big trout. The broken done.